The SR-71 Blackbird was a high-speed, high-altitude spy plane that flew in the 1960s. It's one of the coolest planes ever made, and you've probably already heard of it, even if you don't think so. It's made cameos in movies, comic books, and games. It was the transport used in the X-Men, the character Jetfire in Transformers, Will Smith hit golf balls off its wing in I Am Legend, it inspired the J-Type starship in Star Wars, and it was an unlockable killstreak reward in the Call of Duty games. So why do people like this plane so much? Well, it's powerful. The J-58 jet engine is capable of 34,000 pounds of thrust. It has two of those. That means it's about as powerful as an ocean liner. These engines also seem to be magic. In one mission, the pilot discovered that flying faster than Mark 3.2 actually reduces fuel consumption. I'll provide a video in the description that explains how that's possible. JP-7 jet fuel was developed specially for the Blackbird, and it was so effective that it's still used in the most powerful aircraft today. 2. It's fast. Flying from New York to London takes around 6 hours and 15 minutes in a Boeing 747. The famous Concorde managed it in 2 hours and 52 minutes. The Blackbird? 1 hour 55. And in July 1976, it set a world record, the fastest manned jet-powered aircraft, reaching 2,193 miles per hour, a record which still stands today. It was never shot down. That's despite a total of more than 4,000 missiles fired at it. So how did it manage to deal so effectively with those threats? Well, the standard evasive action was to simply accelerate and outrun any incoming missile. 4. It wasn't that far off being an actual spaceship. And not just because it was tested in Area 51. It flew at altitudes of over 85,000 feet, which is another record for sustained flight by the way. Pilot Mick Recreary said, It's astonishing. You're above the haze and in the atmosphere. How deep into space you can see from up there. There's all this meteor activity you never see on the ground. A lot of stuff's going on. Richard Graham said, The view is spectacular, being able to see the curvature of the Earth and the black space above filled with stars. And finally, it wasn't just used for stealth. Because it could travel fast enough to break the sound barrier, the plane was a sonic boom machine. Here's former pilot, Colonel Buzz Carpenter. The greatest sonic boom that was ever set up, it was May 1972. Three SR-71s took off from Okinawa, Japan, and simultaneously overflew Hanoi at the same time. I've talked to the POWs. They said it scared the living daylights out of the guards because they'd never heard a shock like that. It didn't sound like a bomb and they actually fled. We called the shock wave that came across the ground the sound of freedom. Can you imagine that sometimes we were tasked to overfly foreign ceremonies, to boom heads of state when they were greeting each other, to remind them that they were doing things that were counter to US policy?